Hello, this is Project SoundCube, my, my uh, sound rack, um, and we'll go through all the components and the history of the design of this uh, rack unit. Um, the original design was given to me as a challenge by the music director of the church to design an in-ear system using headphones. Uh, these being the MG6 from Future Sonics, which are extremely expensive, roughly $900 American, not including the in-ear molds, um, literally a mold of my inner ear canal. So they're custom fitted to me and only me. Um, this system started out um, with two challenges, the fact that I needed to be completely mobile, and the second fact that I had never actually run a conga system through a soundboard, so uh, I needed mics, I needed cables, I needed a way to connect that to a sound system, I needed to be able to hear what everyone else is doing, I needed um, basically everything. I needed the knowledge to connect everything together to be able to control it, to be able to see what was going on, where it needed work, where uh, the problems are, how to correct them, how to mitigate issues, how to make this system so flexible that I could use it in any environment that I wanted to use it, either being YouTube, live performance in the church and out of the church, how can I support other players with my equipment? How can they benefit from my self-contained music setup? And so this all came together and it's a mix of DBX hardware, a mix of Shure hardware, a mix of LP Kanga mounts and other pieces of equipment. Um, just quickly to go over the hardware, um, top piece, definitely the PSM 900, centerpiece of the wireless uh, system, it receives all the signals from all the pieces of equipment, SEM 268, the uh, DBX 386, 2 preamp, uh, 2 channels, recorder, uh, the 266 DBX 266 uh, SX, or XS, something like that. Uh, dual channel, 31 band, EQ, uh, the, the 160, or DBX 166 XS um, uh, compressor, of course, dual channel. Everything in this setup is dual mono channel and then combined. So basically, Channel 1 contains all of my drum sounds and all of Channel 2 contains the, the sounds from the band and from the sound system and they're combined using a piece of software inside the PSM 900 uh, with conjunction with my body pack for the PSM 900 called MX or Mix Mode where the two signals are Token left channel and right channel and mixed together and sent to me as a mono channel. So the whole system is mono channel. It's all wired to be line level. Um, like coming into this box, it's um, or my 268, my SCM 268 from sure. It's mic level converted to line level, outputted line level. And so I'll quickly go through the, the, the gain structure of this box. So channel 1 starts with the mics, which are Shure uh, Beta 57As and a Shure uh, SM27, which is the large uh, overhead that captures most of the sound for the cymbals, the hand, or the shakers, and stuff like that. I've just recently added uh, SM, or no, either SM or Beta um, 58S, which is the their vocal mic with a switch. 
Um, so the primary game structure is Mike's capture everything, go into this box. Channel 1, 2, and 3 are the congas, 4 is the overhead, 5 is not used. Well, this isn't even 5, so it's an aux channel. This is master sound, and that is rooted into uh, channel 1 of my uh, two preamplifier, and then it's run into the compressor channel 1, then equalizer channel 1, which Visually speaking, you might be going, why are you organizing the equipment in this order? A um, couple reasons. One, the manual for the two, or for the 166, 166 compressor, I believe, does the, please keep it away from electrical interference, hence the antenna, the PSM 900. Uh, it's set for 10 milliwatts, but can also input, or output at, I think it's, 25 or something like that, and then 50, and so it's it was my I deemed it important to keep away from this because the documentation said that uh, equalizer had nothing that said anything about the electrical interference, so I put it next. Um, of course, down here is my uh, I think it's two U drawer and. Um, in the power supply from um, trip light, of course the cover for the power switch, master for everything. Um, all these devices are wired in the back. Um, this one is for um, a phantom power injector which is powering the SM27 and this is for this M-Audio 8 channel R I forget what the actual name of it, but it's an A audio or M audio, so eight channel recorder. Um, I think it's Auto Track Pro R8. When um, you, I want it mobile, so it's and there's no no more space in the rack anyway, so I put it up here. Um, this is a Keith and I think it's Keith and Allen or. Kendall and Howard rack, computer rack, um, 8U, uh, 500 limit, or 500 pound limit on the rack, drawers, uh, stackable if I want more, um, and this was just, this is just beautiful, um, open vented, um, back plates, um, patch panel with all the all the connections for all this equipment. So anyways, continuing, so it goes channel one uh, goes uh, 268, channel one of the compressor, channel one of the EQ, uh, left channel or channel one of, of the SEM2, or PSM900, sorry. Um, the other signal, channel 2, comes from the soundboard. Um, then it's fed in to the channel 2 of the, um, of the, um, tube amp. Then into channel 2 of the compressor channel 2 of the EQ down here. Um, everything's pretty flat um, on EQ. Um, the, the, com the compressors, the, or no sorry, the, the tube amp is the only thing that's powering it. Um, it's all internally zip tied snake together, very clean, very easy to work with, a bit cumbersome to uh, get my head around when I have to go in there because it's um, snaked everywhere. Um, I've got the four lines on the back. I have um, the line from this 
and the line from this on the back. Um, and then I have the line in that goes into this side of the uh, the tube amp. And basically, um, what I've really noticed is is it's a really solid piece of work. I mean, it's a mix of both computer hardware, server hardware, because that's my background, and that's why you have the solid rock, a rack. Um, usually, I have a MacBook Pro here that's doing the the record or the sound capture of everything that's going on in the rack. Um, I can basically tell what's going on around me, what's happening in the rack, if there's a problem in the rack, stuff like that. Um, it's just really, really, really nice to have this. Um, compressor is set up for hard knee configuration, which means at a certain point, basically, um, down here is your normal signal. This represents um, the threshold of the compressor. So your signal will sit here. It will then hit the the um, compressor limit or the threshold. It will then engage and because of um, how I've configured the um, the fit or the the compressor, it will only do one to affinity, which means it's or for its ratio, which means anything above this point is automatically cancelled. The duration is how long it's going to do that, but it will not affect anything below the threshold. So I think the threshold is plus five dB because I run this box at unity gain or zero. So I'm trying to hit zero here, I'm trying to hit zero here. Um, compress, I mean the, the um, default configuration for my, for um, my tube amp is zero. These gains here are zeroed. The gain here is zeroed, or here is zeroed. Um, and then it also has a limiter which is set roughly five or so um, five or so um, uh, uh, dBs higher than um, the threshold and also there's a gate on each channel that I'm not using um, so even like if you look at the dBx line these are the lowest um, consumer or prosumer road rig equipment used um, and they are well or they're extremely capable I love them I love them I love them um, any complaints about it not really just mostly no there's no complaints about this box I just absolutely love it um, um, there's, it's castered, um, they're not locked casters, so they, this guy can roll a little bit if it's not on a flat surface, but it's not really been an issue, um, yeah, so, this is my, uh, project sound cube. So, of course, the eight channels for my, uh, MRU unit. Um, fast pack track R AR, or Ultra AR, uh, the PSM 900 unit, the SCM 268, um, the 231, or no, sorry, the, the um, 386 under it, the dual tube amp, um, and under that is the two. 31S dual 31 band uh, third of an octave um, EQ. Under that is your uh, DBX 166XS uh, dual channel tube amp. Um, and also a, um, a gate compressor uh, limiter. And then, 
of course the trip light power supply or the power bar and the um, drawer and then of course the casters and everything um, yeah here's the four um, four channels for the SEM 268 um, here is the sound in the sound out uh, sound out and this is another sound out so everyone else can hear what I'm doing so these two are going to the um, M-Audio unit